Hey everybody and welcome to Prime Tracking's quick start video. Once you've logged into track.myprimetracking.com, Prime Tracking opens to the monitoring page that allows you to see where your tracker is in real time. Go ahead and click on the checkbox here to make your unit appear on the map and click on the target icon to center your unit. By hovering your mouse over the tracker, you can see an estimated address of where your tracker is and how fast they are moving. If you hover over the battery icon, you can see how much power is left in your unit. Once the battery goes lower than 10%, you'll receive a notification to charge it. By hovering over this gray dot over here, you can see that the tracker is in sleep mode and not moving. Once the tracker starts to move, the dot will turn green. If you click on the plus or minus signs, you can get a better look of where your tracker is. And by clicking on the quick track icon, you can see a history of where the tracker has been for the day, what stops they are making, and how fast they were going. To see more history of where the tracker has been, click on tracks. Then you can go ahead and click on the speeding icon, parking, and stops. And I'm going to click on today so I can see where the tracker has been today. And if I click over here on this plus icon, it shows which color matches up with each trip. This trip is showing me they went almost three quarters of a mile and total mileage of 9.85 miles for the day. You can see a breakdown of each trip in the report section. Now what's really cool about this is that if you have the tracker in a car, you can see if they were speeding or how long they've been stopped for. And we can show you an example by hovering over the stop sign. You can see they've stopped for four minutes and 11 seconds. Clicking on the play button, you can watch the tracker move and even view it on the Google Street View. And if the history is going too fast, click on 100x and we can slow it down to 50. I'm going to go ahead and pause. And let's say we want to go ahead and create a geofence. To create a geofence, which is an alert that lets you know when the tracker has left or come into a defined area like a garage, house, or building, click on geofences. We're going to click new and call it my garage. We're going to follow the instructions and double click around the building to create a geofence. We can even move this to be a little bit more accurate. This will alert us when someone has taken our car in or out of this building. So if the tracker is in the car and the car is stolen, you'll get an alert when it leaves the building. Or maybe you want to know when your teen comes home, you can see that alert as well. Just a few examples of how it can be used. We can go ahead and click Save. Now, we want to go ahead and click on a notification. We want to click on our tracker and click Next. We want to change this to Geofence and click Next. And we want to know any time that the tracker leaves our garage. So we click outside of our Geofence and we want to move our garage into this section here. Now we're already going to go ahead and send a notification to your email, but if you want a mobile notification as well, go ahead and select mobile notification and select your username. If your username does not appear, log into the Prime Tracking app on the App or Play Store on your phone and your username will instantly appear here. So then we want to go ahead and click next and click next again. We're going to call this left garage and click OK. We have other alerts in here as well that are already set up to go to your email. And if you want multiple notifications, make sure to select that by clicking on the wrench icon. If you have any questions, please call our 24-7 support number at 202-793-8131 or email us at support at myprimetracking.com.